We're racing toward the extinction of our species. We not only lack dominion over nature, we're subordinate to it. It is arguably one of the most recognizable oh, film franchises to hit theaters in the last 50 years. And Jurassic World Dominion is a roaring return to the world where Mother Nature and humans struggle to coexist. Something it's like, you know, the greatest dream come true possible. And it was 20-something years ago, and now it is again, so I feel very lucky. Laura Dern is back as Dr. Ellie I'm Sattler, a character that broke many molds when she first hit the screen back in 1993. Do you have any advice that you would give Laura during that first run, that first film, uh, knowing what you know now today? Ooh, what a great question. I would say the things you're fighting for right now are going to really matter. Because when myself and Steven and Kathy Kennedy were working diligently on set to make sure that that character was an equal and a feminist, and, you know, coming up with dialogue with David Kep, our writer, about sexism and survival situations and women inherit the earth and what she wore and how she dressed and that she wouldn't have makeup and, like, every decision really mattered. Mm. And, and only proven by so many young girls and women over the years that have told me why seeing a character like that as an equal in jeopardy even in an action film really mattered to them and how it's evolved this franchise seeing bryce dallas howard's character seeing dewanda wise now in this film uh, makes me uh want to say to that young actress like it's really important to fight for uh the conversations you want had in storytelling and we all need to keep going because oh. they'll they'll keep mattering Dern isn't the only original cast member to return. Ellie. Sam Neill is back on screen as well. And we cannot forget old. about the one and the only Jeff Goldblum, who is back as the ever so sultry Dr. Ian Malcolm. Was there anybody from the original cast that, I don't know, when you guys came in on set, seeing them, it was just, ah, oh, look at us now. In the movie, Maybe you've seen a trailer with me saying, I think I kind of tweaked that line. I said, look at you and look at me and look at you and look at me. Jeez, this is so trippy. It's so <laughs> trippy, uh, which it was. It, it, it was. And I think I came on set and went, let's see what they have you wearing. Oh, yeah, that's a little bit like you used to. And isn't that interesting? Look at this. And the guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was just uh, like an amazing kind of... Um, magical mystery tour, you know, seeing everybody again. These legends aren't lost on the new cast members either. Isabella Sermon is a relatively new addition who wasn't even alive when the first film hit theaters. Do you want to hear something funny? Yes. The only two films I've been in are Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom and Jurassic World Dominion. <laughs> what? I know, I know. It's, it's, it's funny even to me, like, it's just such a like a large film to just kind of come into like just just randomly. I don't like to admit this, but the cast there's a lot of famous people in the cast, and I feel like a lot of the time um, it's difficult for people to kind of see people who are like famous or in the media a lot as normal people. But mm. I think that something that I've definitely learned from being on both films is that they are essentially just normal people, and the amount of stuff that I have learned like both as a person and as an actor with working with this incredible cast is just unmatched like I'll, I'll be taking that stuff through until when i'm an adult and back to the original jurassic park remember goldblum's iconic wardrobe or lack thereof well i had to get an update on what audiences can expect now final question how many buttons were unbuttoned on this one because i mean a little infamous you know that's quite intimate. I don't want to give it away, but uh, there's a little moment between me and the great Dewanda Wise, who plays a great character in this, and there's something that happens, and she, uh, I can't tell you, but we allude to something about my costume malfunctioning, you know. Okay, well, if that's not a tease, I don't know what is.